similar personality traits. So I didn't have to sit and hold my breath and wait for her to say, oh, so you're nuts. You know, now that I've gotten older, I now speak with people who they understand it, they get it. Or even if they don't get it, they understand that there are people out here like me. So it's like, I don't get it. That's not my calling in life. Or, you know, I don't subscribe to what you got going on there. But I honestly believe that this is really happening to you. You know, good luck with that. I'm still going to treat you like the person that you are. Like, I'm still going to love on you. And I'm still, Like, there are people now that I'm meeting who actually, they don't tie who I am to my ability or my gift. Which, that's probably one of the first times I really called it a, a gift. Because that's never how I was like, anybody who knows who my best friend is, she will tell you, I've never seen that as a gift. I absolutely thought I was cursed. Um, and I mean, as I'm just being honest with you guys, that's the whole point of me doing this podcast, because for all I know, there's somebody listening right now who's still carrying the burden of, you know what? I've been like this my entire life too. And I still can't talk about it. Well, start yourself a podcast and start talking about it. Or go on Facebook and tell your story. I see a lot of threads going up about what's the one thing that people don't know about you that um, you would like to talk about. And it's like a safe space to talk about. When you see those, go blast it out there. It's okay. We ground now. And even if you aren't as old as I am, um, it's still good for you to get that off your chest. It's, there's no reason to have to walk around carrying that um, that weight on you. This is not the witch trials all over again. No judgment here. And like I always tell people, that number on my page is very much a real my real business number. I don't take phone calls on it, but you can text me on it. Even if I just start receiving text messages, well, you know, I have the same. All right, Shetta, you can send uh, messages inside of the group. I'm cool with that. If you want to leave a comment under um, this podcast in on my group page, when the link goes up, leave a comment about it. I'm cool with that, too. I always tell people it it does not matter to me what you're doing, who you follow, as long as we are like minded and being caring people. Now, you out here, you know, eating off bad heads and killing people on the low. I can't get behind that. But you're just a genuine good person and you have a different belief from me. I can't. I have no heaven or hell to put you in and I'm not walking around here 110% perfection where I can turn around and judge the next person. That is just not, that's not my ministry. That's, that's not my personality. I I've just never been that person. And it's something that I know certain people dislike about me because they're quick to judge. Oh, you pray to what you do? What your religion is what? And they have a problem with it. Whereas I'm like, yo, that's cool. Tell me about it. Because I genuinely want to know because there's, I don't care what your religion is, who you pray to, what you call it. It, it, it can be God. It can be Jehovah. It, it can be the great. I am the great beyond deities, the ancestors. It does not matter. All of us are connected somewhere and we're plugging in for that spiritual guidance and I don't care what outlet you plug into as long as on a human level we're all good people out here trying to do the best that we can and we're out here trying to look out for our fellow brothers and sisters and we're out here trying to build up our communities and we're out here trying to make an actual difference. I'm good with that. I am good with that. I I have always had, even when people treated me a certain type of way, I've always had the mindset of, you know what? I'm just going to show love where I can show love until you show me that you are an absolute moron. Then you probably going to catch a good tongue lash and I ain't going to ever speak to you again. And I'm okay with that too. Like, I, I've never had an issue with cutting people off. 
I've actually gotten better at it because I used to stop pe- speaking to folks for stupid stuff. Like, I don't like the way you breathe out your left nostril. I can't talk to you no more. Like, like for real, in my 20s, I was real quick to just, and I guess it's a tourist in me, I was real quick to just, I, I don't want to talk to you. I don't like the way your glasses lean to the left. I, I don't want to talk to you no more. And I had to grow up <laughs> from that and do better. It took me a while. But I finally got to a point where I'm like, okay, you can't be judgmental because your glasses lean to the right. Stop it. And I finally got myself together and was like, you know what? As I grew and learned who I was as a person and started to appreciate who I was as a person and started to understand that I'm not, you know, Satan reincarnate, that I just happen to have a gift and... I have the ability to use it to give comfort or to use it to lift spirits or whatever the case may be. When I finally realized and understood that this is who I was as a person and not all the things that people told me I was, then I got to a place where, you know what, I'm cool with with your opinion of me. I don't care. I am out here trying to help the next person so that they can do better than I did. I'm out here trying to show people that there are people who genuinely will show you love and will care about you, care about your journey, and will actually reach out their hands to help and actually mean it. Not some of this foolishness I've been seeing. Look, there are so many folks who, oh yeah, I'm here to help you do blah, 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 blah. And as soon as you reach out your hand for that help, how they biting off your fingers. Like, I genuinely will help as much as I possibly can anybody that I can and do what I can. That is my calling in life. Like I said, now my, my circle is Cheerio small. That is because I don't trust everybody to be right up on me. Now I can help you and we ain't got to be friends. I can help you because I'm just a caring person and I care about other beings and I care about my community. I care about seeing us win. I can help you and we don't have to sit up on the phone and chop it up and be chatty Cassie and and the homies and all of that because I'm just not that person. Like, I absolutely love people. You'll see me put up messages every morning just reminding people, listen, you are amazing and I love you. And I mean that. But in my mind, it's kind of like being in a relationship. And I told this to somebody once. I was like, you know, the person told me, he said, I don't understand why we're breaking up. You said you love me. I do love you. I'm not in love with you. There is a big difference there. I'm kind of like that with people in general. I love you. Therefore, I can do things for you. I can help you. I'm not in love with your spirit, though. So, you know, don't call me after business hours. Like, that's just... And a lot of people can't understand how those... That can live in the same person. It's very simple. People who are closest to me are the people that I can tell pretty much anything to are the people I can confide in. Like I just told the young lady that I recently have um, become friends with. She is somebody who could call me at four o'clock in the morning just because she needed to somebody to listen to an ugly cry over the phone and I'm cool with it. My best friend could wake me up and ask me to go across town on a tricycle (laughs) barefooted across rocks and broken glass. I got her back no matter what. Like there are certain people that I will get up and go above and beyond for because these are the people who are close in my circle. But these are also people that if I called them and said, listen, I now need to be the one that's doing an ugly cry at 3 a.m. They'll get up and pick up the phone for me. Other people, it's like, I'm going to do everything I possibly can for you. Most certainly. Um, but there's a cutoff and everybody should be that way. Everybody shouldn't have a circle that's just constantly expanding and you got thousands and thousands and thousands of people in your circle. You tell your business to everybody and everybody you wake up at 4 a.m. for and everybody, because if that's the case, you'll never sleep. You will end up being drained and sitting somewhere rocking back and forth and talking to yourself. Like you will never have any rest or any peace if you allow everybody to be your new best friend. It's kind of like I saw it on a television show. I've said it for years, so I can't remember where, 
But it's like something that I used to say to people just jokingly. Whenever somebody would do something nice for me, I'm like, oh, you're my newest friend. I'm going to call you every 15 minutes. Like, and that's really how I feel about people who try to get up in your, your close friend circle. Like, people who are trying too hard, those are the people who actually do want to call you like every 15 minutes. Now, if my friends, if my two homegirls decide they want to call me every 15 minutes, there's a reason for it. But I can't have 2,000 people deciding they want to call me every 15 minutes because everybody else is going to feel great. I'm going to feel like I've been ran over by a steamroller. You have to keep your circle small and you can have acquaintances. But the people who are closest to you should only be the people who you know you could like legitimately trust with your life if it came down to it. And I can't trust everybody with me I can't trust everybody around my children I can't trust everybody with my dog so I am very particular when it comes to that whole friendship thing and who's in the center of it because there's a couple things about me that none of you know that they do and I may never tell it to anybody else but then and of course the man. Um, but you, you have to. You have to protect your energy. And the only way to do that, like I said, is to not have a ton of people up in it. And then you you. You have to really sit with yourself. Learn who you are as a person. And I know most of you listen to me have probably already done this, but there are some people out here who haven't. Learn who you are as a person. Fall in love with who you are as a person. And anybody who does not like it, to hell with them. Because I know when this podcast is released, there's going to be some people who are swiftly going to remove themselves from my Facebook page or remove themselves from listening to my podcast. It's like, oh, she's like that. And that's fine. Bye. I constantly keep the door open. I have no issue with you leaving. Because at the end of the day, if everybody disappeared tomorrow, I still have my friends and my family. Which is how I came into this thing. I can walk out of it the same way. As long as I have the core people who love me, the rest of it is just an addition. The rest, that extra love, those extra people. Like I tell somebody, here's of late, my timeline on Facebook has been looking like shea butter and mango butter and eating melons on a beach in Africa and it's just been beautiful. It looks like love and I absolutely love it. And some of those people will hear what I have to say and be like, girl, I know exactly what you're talking about. I went to the same thing. Some of them are going to be like, "Mm, I still think you're evil because that's just not, and that's fine. And you can go. It's I'm not holding anybody hostage and I'm not trying to change anybody's mind. Because you're definitely not going to change mine. I am who I am and you are who you are. And the one thing that I constantly tell people is that not everybody is meant to be on your road with you. As you go through life and you go through this journey, there are going to be some people who fall off the side of the road. There's going to be a few people you knock off to the side of the road because they're not supposed to be there with you. And then there's going to be some people who very much are right on the road with you and they'll be the ones that tell you, oh, there, there's a ditch up ahead. Swerve around that. Oh, girl, that bridge is looking weak. That bridge is looking weak. We're going to have to find another route and they'll help you find it. Like there are some people who are just meant to be on this road called life with you and some people who aren't. There are people who have come into my life and it was just for me to learn certain things. There are going to be people who come into my life right now and I never speak to them. I've got Facebook friends right now that I've never talked to. And I go to their pages and I'm like, oh, okay, this is Bishop this one and this is Sister so-and-so and this is, you know, God is such and such. And it's like, okay. And I try to fami- familiarize myself with, you know, profiles and such. There are some people who have spoke to me, some people who have not. Um, Some people I've reached out to, some people I have not. And whether I got to know these people or not, they all crossed my path for a reason. There's, and I said this on Facebook, there is a reason that we're all connecting right now. Whether it was just for me to know that, you know what, there are still some people close-minded to people like me existing. 
And that's cool because now 